Hey y'all, it's Julian, also known as the Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about today. Me and Kayla, as you can tell, have crammed the cam and we got stuff for free. So we're gonna go ahead and tell you what we did, how we got it. We hit what two community yard sales and a citywide yard sale, so stay tuned to see the video. Might enjoy them. Yeah, I also collect a whole bunch of old hats. Mm -hmm. Super nice. How much were you look, thinking for per hat? I was thinking a dollar and a half. A dollar and a half. Would you do a dollar if I bought them all? Like a dollar a piece? A dollar each? Yes. Yeah, if I bought them all. I would. Okay. Let's see how many you got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. I'll give you fifteen bucks. Thank you. How much for this head cover? Three. I give you two for it. <laughs> so with that, the time he walks away, he, I'm like, okay, I'll just show you stuff. I will. <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it. No, that's okay. I'm shoving everything in these bags. Be my size. Be my size. No. Dang it. Oh, five bucks each, I see. All you gotta say, they're priced. Some of it's priced, some of it you'll have to pass with the offering, but everything's for sale. You sell a lot of these? Not yet, but we'll find out. Well, I mean in general this is this is my personal collection so oh, i'm trying really? to get i'm trying to get rid of them are these your keys yes you might want to yeah <laughs> i might want to hold on to those yes yeah. thank you Is this yours? How much are you thinking about it? How much for it? You do 20? I would do it. I'll take it. I bought that. She's going to keep it for me so I don't have to carry it around. Oh. Will you take it to the car? <laughs> I was going to it, uh, yeah, on the way back. There's a little label maker. Yeah. Then I can drop these off too. Hello. Put a little stuff on this. Like, what is it? Um, Area. Hey. See if they're pluses or not. No. The TI 83s. Good morning. How are you?
He has a ton of trains. <laughs> yeah. So it's time to get rid of some of them. <laughs> <laughs> put this massive garden up in the dining room every year. <laughs> Everybody in the neighborhood comes to see it. Oh, yeah? You're looking at the golf clubs. Well, I was looking at the trains, too, but... <laughs> Everything's negotiable. Oh. How are you doing? All right. Yeah, I think that's a 10.5 and 10 .5. this is a three-wheel. Is that the uh, RBZ? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to hit at the other go um, when last week you some yard sales and got at eight degree driver and try to hit that thing that was difficult oh. <laughs> i was not doing too great oh. on that oh. it's, okay. it's new grips regular shafts yeah regular yeah. flex regular flex yeah You got 45 on them. Would you do 30? Yeah. 30? Yeah. Sometimes it's so hard getting these head covers back on. <laughs> Work with me here, buddy. All right, I'll do 30 on them. Thank All you. Right. That's a good deal. <laughs> um, I got 40. You guys got a 10? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I do appreciate. Thank right. you very much. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah, I don't, I don't. The trains are cool, but I don't. Yeah, they're end scale. Is that good? End scale. What's well, the next step of... down from HO? Oh. Well, you get a better, more on the garden with it, you yeah. know, because oh yeah, smaller makes for an awfully cute garden. Hmm. If I knew anything about trains, I feel like that's a good deal. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, it is a good deal. Trust <laughs> yeah. me. I have. Each I one of them cars are like ten to twenty dollars a piece. Really? Everything's negotiable. I gave you fifty bucks for it all. Really? Yeah. That's fine. Cool. I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't. I'll probably uh, set them up or do something with them. They're, they're too cool to leave behind. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Same to you. How much you want for the whole set? How much? How much would you like for the whole set? Uh, yeah, I want to sell it as a set. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for 125 for it. 125. Yeah. All right. Not interested. Or interested? I couldn't do 125. But you, you're right. You're on the money. Like somebody will pay 125 for it for sure. Yeah. I could do. I. I don't. I could do 75 because that's. But. That's uh, that's it. But you'll get one twenty-five. I'll, I'll, I'll split it with you. I'll go to a hundred, and that's it. A hundred. I can do a hundred. All right. That'll work. No, I think it's that lady's bike. Yeah. Remember that time you thought that, that those bikes were for sale? <laughs> and you kept seeing them. You're like, I can't believe these bikes are always around. Oh, it's a bed oh, frame. A bed frame. Is this $10 for that whole thing? Everything in it, yep. Consider that one sold. Everything in it, yep. All right, guys, we were back at the house and it was really an epic day. We didn't realize how good it was until we got home and started looking through the stuff that I picked up. Uh, we spent $375 on products, but we did travel a while, then we ate out. 
to lunch and everything. We got a couple energy drinks. So I'm gonna say I spent $400 on all of this stuff. You did see a little bit in the film what I picked up. Uh, the biggest one was definitely that train pickup that I'll show you here in a second, but it was definitely good. We're gonna go over some highlights and that's about it. Some of this stuff wasn't on film that I picked up, but none of it was really that good. We'll start real quick as you saw, you know, picked up some uh, some decent golf clubs here. All of it's gonna be tailor-made. These are some really good tailor-mades here. And these are all the older Callaway. And I ended up paying $50 for this entire thing. So that's gonna be a good one. And we did go and I got uh, some Adams. These are always good when it's the Adams Tight Lives Strong Fives. Got another Tight Lives right there. Odyssey putter back there. And this I actually picked up for only five bucks. It's in pretty good condition. That'll be a local. We got a ton of fly fishing gear. We are going fly fishing here in a couple of weeks. So most likely some of this will be sold, but some of it also will be uh, kept, so so that will be good. And then moving down, we got a whole bunch of these hooks and everything in here. Fishing gear goes for a ton of money. When you can pick it up cheap, you really can't go wrong. I did get a whole bunch of, uh, you saw the vintage railroad hats. I don't know how much these are gonna go for, but I guarantee you, I only paid a dollar, and these are pretty old. They are shedding all of their, uh, as you can tell, all of their foam on the inside. So I will have to clean that stuff up, but not too bad. I found more head covers than I usually find, and they're pretty decent. These will go for, you know, 10 to $15 a piece, sometimes a little more. This little M&M one might go for a little bit more money. We did pick up uh, four or five fishing rods, and they're all ugly sticks. That's not too bad. Shakespeare isn't like a huge brand, but if it's Shakespeare ugly stick, that's going to be always a good pickup for as cheap as I picked them up for. And then we did get a... Daiwa or Daiwa little rod right here or real. I'm pretty sure it works. I'll have to see but the biggest uh, thing is going to be All of this stuff. We just I just looked this one up because it's fairly heavy and this one has a sold comp None listed and the last one was on auction. So for $152 Again, not all of them are going to be that high, but I haven't gone through this I did just look this one up. I believe and this one did go for, I think, 150 bucks. So I have more than $400 just sitting in this box. I think I have close to 800 sitting in here. There are just a ton of stuff. And as you saw in the video, I picked this up for $50. So definitely a good pickup. I mean, I have a whole bunch of these little, uh, you know, I don't even know what this one says, Eggnog Express. So definitely cool little things. A lot of them have barcodes. So this is going to be super easy to list, super easy to ship. So definitely cool. I know nothing about these um, trains or anything, but the person was super cool as you saw. And I, you know, they had on there 150, they marked down to 75 bucks and I got it for 50. Just by the sure quantity of it, I was like, man, if you find get $5 a piece, I'll double my money. Turns out they're worth way more than that. I did pick up a uh, some tools in here and this, uh, I paid a little much for it, but I might actually keep it. These are all SK tools, and it has the SK box, and this is a super nice box. The guy said he bought it back in the 50s. I believe him 100%. This is a heck of a breaking bar right here. I mean, this is a well-made SK breaking bar. I don't know how much it goes for, but probably 20 bucks. I did look up the set here, and these are probably gonna go for over $100, but I might keep this together, or I might actually keep this entire thing and just sell off uh, these are like Craftsman and there's a Bonnie, but I might keep the breakers with the bigger um, sockets just because they're in such good condition and they're really good. So we, we, I don't know if what I'm going to do with this yet, but I did spend a lot of money on this. If you're trying to resell, paying $100 wasn't optimal, but it wasn't so bad. I can double my money with $100, bucks, but who knows if I'm going to keep that or not. But that's some really nice tools. And then I did pick up, I, this was not filmed either. This all went for $10 and it has the old Craftsman box. Uh, which might actually go for 10 bucks, but the thing that sold me right away when I go through toolboxes are flare nut wrenches. These are the ones that look like this, and this one right here is a SK flare nut wrench forged in the United States. This alone will probably go for about 10 to 15, and I think that I might have a couple of them in here. And then when I was looking through it, I did see this ratchet right here, and I just sold one of these for $29. That's a V-series, so when you're looking at these... um these toolboxes and people just want $10, take a look at some of the ratchets 
and if they're you know good quality you can't go wrong buying it i mean there's a ton in here and i guarantee you there will be a ton made just on this probably hundred dollars sitting in here especially with these um these flare dump wrenches because i think i got a whole set of them in here so that's really good they can go for a ton of money so right there i don't want this to be too incredibly long but definitely a good day going out there and flipping this stuff uh today was really concentrated on golf clubs and outdoor gear uh there was a ton of clothing as you saw and i didn't look at any clothing whatsoever we were kind of on a mission to find this type of stuff and we did so it was a really good day i do appreciate y'all watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did always remember to subscribe comment down below and like the video and you know i will always catch you on the next Next one.